In this video, you'll learn how to get started with the WinForms treeless control. First, locate the treeless control component in the Visual Studio toolbox and drop it onto the form. Click the Smart tag at the top right corner and click the Doc in Parent Container link to fill the available area. Now let's bind the treeless to data. Click the Data Source Wizard link in the Smart Tags panel to open the Data Source Configuration Wizard. Select the desired data technology and click the New Data Source button. Select the database and click Next to proceed. Then select the dataset as the database model and click Next. Click the New Connection button to create a new database connection. In this example, we'll use the Microsoft Access Database File Employees as the data source. Click OK to close the Add Connection dialog window and click Next to move on. You can choose to copy the database file to your project by clicking Yes in the dialog window. Now choose the data table for the tree list to display and click the Finish button to exit the wizard. Now the data source is added to your project. Rebuild the application and open the data source wizard again. The data source we created is now available to choose for the corresponding technology. Select it and click Next to proceed. Choose the desired data processing mode and click Next. Specify the binding options, such as parent and key fields, to display the hierarchical data and finally click Finish. The wizard automatically generates data binding code. Now let's run the application to see the result. You get a fully functional tree list control with automatically generated columns and populated data without writing a single line of code. Now let's customize the control. To do this, click Run Designer within the Smart Tags panel to open the Tree List Designer. You can select which fields are displayed within the control by adding or removing them from the columns list. The InPlace Editor repository allows you to create and configure column editors. Let's create a custom editor for the email column. Add a text edit and set an email regular expression mask. Now let's create a date editor for the columns with the date data type. Set the use mask as display format property to true to display data according to the mask. Now assign created custom editors to corresponding columns using the column edit property. And finally, prearrange the layout using the Layout Designer. And click the Apply button to save changes. And let's see the result. Using the regular expression mask, we've set a form to enter an email address. The data within birth date and hire date columns can now be edited using the calendar like DevExpress date editor. Now let's enable the node's drag and drop functionality. Locate the Options Behavior property and expand it to get access to its sub properties. Set the Drag Nodes and Show Editor on Mouse Up properties to true and run the application.
you can now reorder nodes and rearrange the node hierarchy via drag and drop operations. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.